Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Scented Moments channel. I am Jolima and in this video I want to talk about 10 fragrances that I absolutely love but they are a bit overpriced. And of course this whole concept of uh, overpriced is very subjective, it depends on what you are willing to pay for a fragrance, it depends on your taste so i mean this is very subjective like is i mean this entire hobby but uh again i love these fragrances but for what they represent um i mean some are more gourmand some are a barber shop and whilst i love them uh, and i can see their quality but I mean, for what they are, for what the brand offers in this specific fragrance, I mean, it's a bit overpriced. Nonetheless, it's great. And that being said, um, I have you 10 fragrances and I will not mention them in a specific order. And the first fragrance that I will talk about is from the House of Parfum de Marly. Yes, I think I just referenced, I just mentioned Parfum de Marly in a video. Um, and I was not bashing the brand, um, but other than that, I think it's it's really, really rare when I talk about the Parfum de Mali fragrance. But I really like this one, and it is Wajan. Wajan, uh, it's very similar to Ambre Narguilé by Hermès from the Hermès collection, which I have on my wish list. Uh, this one is more intense. Uh, than uh, Ambre Narguilé. Ambre Narguilé has the transparency and it's a bit more, um, has a more natural smelling effect. Uh, this one is more intense, it's a bit sweeter, but the scent character is pretty similar to uh, Ambre Narguilé. It's delicious, it's a delicious gourmand nonetheless. Uh, but I mean, this is a 125 ml Eau de Parfum concentration and it's way over 200 euros. I mean, it's uh, actually, I don't recall the exact price tag of this one, but it's nearly in the 300 euros mark. Yeah, it's a bit steep for what this fragrance represents. I mean, it's a gourmand scent nonetheless. Uh, and well, it's already heavily inspired by scent in another one that already exists. So just because of the lacking of originality, just that alone, I mean, it's sufficient for me to say that this feels a bit overpriced. Um, it's a great scent, nonetheless. Um, it lasts, it projects, um, and it smells really good. I really do love this one more in the winter time. I think it's pretty delicious, but again, the lack of originality makes this a bit more overpriced. Um, the first fragrance is Parfum de Marly Rouage. The next fragrance is from the house of Guerlain from the L'Art et la Matière collection, and it is Tonka Imperial. Now, this for me is the best Tonka bean fragrance in the market nowadays. Um, it's this bitter, sweet, creamy almonds with tonka beans. I mean, this fragrance is so good. It's really so good. I mean, I absolutely love this. But um, this is, as you can see, this is the older style presentation bottle. Uh, this is a 75 ml. Uh, I paid this 200 euros, 204 euros, which it was, I mean, in the limit for me I bought this full retail by the way because um, I really love this but uh, the original price tag the 203 300 204 euros I mean okay it was okay it was in the limit nowadays you have a 100 ml or 200 ml I think you also have that option but at least the 100 ml is already 300 euros. Uh, I mean, it's it's insane. The pricing of Guerlain went through the roof this year uh, and it's already overpriced. All of those fragrances from this collection are overpriced. They are not worthy the 300 euros mark. They are not. Um, 
in the, the 200 euros was already okay was already in the limit more than that i mean it's hard to justify because although these fragrances are great i have um angelique noir i have queer beluga this one of course and um Nerolio Trenoir. those four fragrances i have i absolutely love them but i mean it's hard to justify more than 200 euros because these fragrances i mean in the end they are sweet a bit gourmand yes they have high quality ingredients perhaps yes at least they smell like high quality like a high quality scent but not like 300 euros a high quality scent if that makes sense i mean you you don't you will not get any wood in here you will not get um any ambergris in here um it's vanilla Th this fragrance is has mostly vanilla in all of their um in all of the fragrances this line and tonka beans and so i mean it's hard to justify the 300 euros mark um but well it is what it is i still love this again this is the best tonka bean in the market better in my opinion than fabulous by christian dior although when you will compare the price tag Feb Delicious is has a better price tag than uh, Tonka Imperial Tonka Imperial feels more natural feels more realistic uh, and it's not as sweet as Feb Delicious performance isn't great in my on my skin at least but man, I absolutely love the scent character I love this so this is Guerlain's Tonka Imperial Next fragrance here is from House of Pure Distance, and it is Pure Distance M, this one right here. So Pure Distance M is one of my favorite leather fragrances ever. Uh, this was very well featured on my leather fragrances video. Um, I love this. I mean, this is spices. This has cumin, cardamom, oh man, uh, it has a hint of bergamot and lavender it has an aromatic facet in here but it's incredibly spicy um musky and very leathery it has also smoky nuance this is intense and actually this is one of my most complimented fragrances nowadays which is insane this is not a fragrance that i would think that it would be like mass appealing which I think it's not, I think it just suits me. It's a fragrance that really suits me. This is very, this fragrance is so masculine and gentlemanly and mysterious. Um, and it's very sensual, the spiciness in here, the cumin, um, the cardamom. It has a hint, a very small hint of incense and leather. Wow, this fragrance is to die for. But what is the problem of this fragrance is that it's, Quite, it's inspired by another scent, a classic from Hermes, which is Bellamy. This is very much inspired by Bellamy. Now, this is more intense, this is more spicy and more leather. This is really like a more intense, bold version of uh, Bellamy, the original Bellamy from Hermes. I absolutely love this. I mean, they say, they say here that this was created by Roger Dove. Um, and this is an extrait de parfum concentration. I mean, yeah, it's really intense and it lasts. It projects. I mean, you will be noticed. And it's really one of the best leathers that I ever smelled, hands down. And I prefer this to the original Bellamy, at least the current formulation of Bellamy. I love Bellamy Vetiver, but it's very different from this one. Um, it's a great scent. I think this was my number two when I was ranking my uh, top 12 leather fragrances. This was my number two. And I absolutely love this. This is great. But the 100 ml bottle size of this is over 400 euros. <laughs> yeah, it, it is very, very expensive. Um, and for me, it's a bit overpriced. Because again, the originality, it's not really here. Um, but the quality of the ingredients, yes, it's definitely here. Uh, I love this. Nonetheless, is uh, Pure Distance M a fantastic leather scent? And if you don't want to spend the big bucks for this one, just go with the original Bellamy. 
Next fragrance, it's from House of Tiziana Trenzi. This is an unhoused that I rarely mention, and actually, I love their fragrances. I mean, not all of them. A lot of them are very inspired in other scents, more intensified versions of the like the original scents that they are inspired uh, in. But but I still like it. I still like the brand. Not my favorite brand, no. But I still like their fragrances. I have four fragrances from their house, and this is one of them. I really do love this. It is Ursa. I mean, beautiful beautiful bottle presentation right here beautiful simply beautiful um but again this is not original this is not an original uh creation this is oh man it's a bit dusty and i'm sorry for that <laughs> um this is very much inspired by by Killian straight to heaven now this is better than straight to heaven in my opinion this is beefier this is intense this i mean wow this is boozy it has a lots lots of patchouli like earthy damp patchouli with booze uh with oud with labdanum i mean this is resinous dark earthy boozy scent i mean and it's to to the max it's a great great scent um, but again it's not original um, you can smell this in by Killian straight to heaven which came first and then you also have the straight to heaven extreme which I never smelled but this one it's better this is better than the by Killian straight to heaven because of the beefiness if that's a word uh, but the price egg of this one is uh, this is a 100 ml bottle size, extrait de parfum concentration, and the current price I think it's 220, 225. It's not bad because this is a 100 ml extrait de parfum. I mean, yeah, it's it's in the limit, but it's a bit overpriced still because again, it's not an an original formulation because you can immediately think on um, by Killian Street Heaven. Still better version than that one. Um, great presentation, sure. Uh, the quality of the, of the ingredients also, I mean, at least seems good. Um, and it's a great scent, especially if you like patchouli, if you love dark, bold, heavy fragrances. This is definitely a must try. This is Tiziana Terenzi's Ursa. Next fragrance, it's from the house of Stefano Mer Lucas, and it is Soleil de Jeddah. Now, this is one of my most worn fragrances ever in my collection. One of my most complimented fragrances ever. I absolutely love this fragrance. Uh, this, I think it was the first fragrance that I purchased from this brand, and I, I think it's the most well-known, um, the most well-known fragrance from Stefan Umber Lucas. Wow, this scent, it's so addicting and so good. Peach, leather, chamomile, vanilla, create this unique, I will say, unique concoction. I mean, this, I always heard that this scent in it's very typical in the, in the Middle East, um, because this is sweet, fruity, heavy, um, but I mean, here in Europe, especially in Portugal, I mean, I never smelled this before. So this for me, it's quite unique. Why this is overpriced? Well, because this is a 50 ml bottle, although it's gorgeous, but it's uh, just a 50 ml. I think this is a Eau de Parfum concentration. Yes, this is Eau de Parfum, but the price tag is 250 euros for 50 ml. Uh, which, okay, it, it would depend, I mean, this, this has real oud, this, this has real rose, um, you know, this, this has any real uh, ingredients that is expensive, like oud, ambergris, rose, uh, no, this doesn't have any, any of that, uh, this doesn't have any very expensive, at least not to my nose, this doesn't smell like an expensive, expensive fragrance 
Now this is rich, this is intense and it lasts, projects a lot, but I mean, it's a sweet, fruity, leathery scent for 250 euros. I mean, 50 ml, it's a bit steep. It's a bit steep, but, and this is quite hard for me to say this because I love this one. I really love this one and I love this house. I really do love this house, but I prefer it to, for example, Tiziana Drenzi or to Pure Distance because this house is still unique. Uh, it's quite unique uh, and the quality of the ingredients are incredible and I really do love it. It has all of the, his fragrances have this Middle East mysterious feel that I absolutely love. All of the, the his fragrances are intense, um, but are rounded, you know, uh, they, uh, the edges are not sharp. Um, so I, I really do like this house. But this one specifically, it's a bit steep for what it is, nonetheless. And it's very mainstream, you know, because of the sweetness, the sweet fruitiness with the vanilla, with the leather. It has a hint of floral nuances, but <laughs> I love this. But I love this. Uh, I mean, it's a bit steep, but I would still buy it. Of course, after all, I have this in my collection. Um, and I love the photo presentation. So this is Soleil de Jeda by Stefan Umber Lucas. Again, this is one of my most complimented fragrances ever and one of my most worn fragrances ever in my collection. Next fragrance, it's from the House of Creed. I think I never mentioned, I, I mean, it was just one video or two that I mentioned a Creed scent, but, uh, but again, I just have two fragrances from Creed. It's not a brand that really inspires me. It's not a fragrance brand that's really, I mean, it's not on my taste, you know, it's, it, they are all very fresh, light fragrances, especially with their constant reformulation on their, on their fragrances. I mean, it's just a fragrance brand that no, it, I'm not keen on, but I have this one and Virgin Island water. And these are already, I mean, vintage <laughs> formulations. Uh, so this is Millicime Imperial. And I really do like this. Uh, this is the 120 ml. Yeah, this is the 120 ml still. I bought this like in 2017. No, maybe 2018. Maybe 2018. Uh, I bought this alongside Virgin Island Water back then. It was summer and I wanted summer fragrances. And yeah, I wanted to have some creeds. Um, and yeah, I have these. Um, I mean, no, I didn't bought by, I didn't pay full retail. No, I bought this at Notino back then. Um, and I really do like this. And, and just like I love Virgin Island Water. And it, for me, it's really vintage because it's the 120 ml with the blue cap. Um, now, whilst I do like this and I love to wear this during the summer, this is salty, aquatic um sparkly uh this has a fruitiness in here also i really do love this but oof, nowadays i will not pay if back then i would not pay full retail <laughs> today even less <laughs> i know i will never ever buy creed at a full retail creed overall it's an overpriced brand in my opinion now they do have royal wood which is nice it's decent i mean i'm not in love with that fragrance it's decent i would buy it with a big big discount like if i would get an opportunity in the, in the online discounters like a great deal i mean yeah maybe i would grab it but i have so many other fragrances that i love and i prefer uh i prefer to prioritize those that i really love um, Bois de Portugal also is nice, but again, I would never pay full retail for any Creed. Um, as much as I love them or might love them, but no, I would never do that because I mean, they are just light, fresh, and they are always changing. And again, they don't inspire me. I mean, it's not a fragrance brand that would be like, wow, I'm mind blown by this creation. This is a fairly unique creation, I would say, uh, but 
again it's not a fragrance that blows my mind to the point to pay full retail for this nonetheless it's great it's a great scent great for summer mm. it has this muskiness underneath that creates a quite sensual feel great scent at least this one because again then creed has this thing like uh, they have different batch for variations and it's just insane um to keep up with the constant reformulations uh, so at least this batch specifically is great it's amazing um but i would never recommend you to grab a full bottle at a retail price still great still love it that's what i have in my collection i will definitely wear this during the summertime but a bit overpriced creed millisime imperial next fragrance from a house of roger Dorf, and it is Elysium. Now this is from the Parfum Cologne line. Um, this is not even my favorite actually. This is my second favorite I would say nowadays. Uh, this really, oh, I have to be honest, this kind of blew my mind last year when I started to wear this. This was sent to me for free. I received the whole collection of the Parfum Cologne line and this one kind of blew my mind when I start to wear this more during the summer. This really has a natural feel in here. This, the citruses in here are perfect. I mean, are so fizzy, effervescent, realistic. Uh, the, the bergamot with the grapefruit, I mean, amazing, amazing. Um, and it's not, doesn't smell cheap. Uh, although the scent DNA, it's very well known. I mean, this basically for me, it's like a blend of Aventus with Bleu de Chanel um but it's it's well done i mean it's really well done still not my favorite from this line my favorite is still vetiver which it's still overpriced this whole range is overpriced um i think i, I mean i understand the price tag because roger Dove wants to create and he already has this image of a ultra luxury uh image of him of their uh, his brand of their um he sells the exclusivity of his fragrances and so i get that price tag of these fragrances also but they are still overpriced um these are fresh these are not unique i mean not this one <laughs> definitely not this one um vetiver is also not unique scandal because they all have this hmm I already smell this impression, you know, uh, immediately, if you will smell Scandal, you will think of maybe Santos de Cartier. Uh, I, for a minute, for a minute, I, for me, it's really every time I smell Scandal, whilst I do like Scandal, but I immediately think of Santos de Cartier. This one, I think of Blue de Chanel and Aventus. Vetiver, I think of Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver, uh, Dio de Parfum. Um, the only fragrance that I don't actually think of another one is Enigma. But Enigma, I mean, it's okay. It, it doesn't last and it smells like Coca-Cola. <laughs> I never smelled the, the Parfum uh, version, but the Parfum Cologne, I mean, it's okay. You know, it's okay. Uh, I give... I give points for the originality. <laughs> uh, and then there's another one that I'm missing. Oh, Danger. Guerlain Heritage. I mean, but it's not even, uh, let's not even discuss that, you know, it's it's not open to discussion. It's Guerlain's Heritage. So yeah, I mean, so you can see a lot of inspirations of the Par this Parfum Cologne uh, line of these, all of these fragrances from the Parfum Cologne line. Um, so that's why for me they are overpriced and they are more light than, for example, uh, for me Danger, it's lighter, feels lighter than uh, Garon's Heritage. So, I mean, yeah, uh, doesn't mean, I don't want to mean that, oh, I mean, they are all, they all smell cheap and they are not worth the price. No, not at all. Because again, I can detect the um the high quality ingredients i mean they they don't have sharp edges they don't smell 
ultra synthetic or cheap not at all hey that's why i'm mentioning elysium because elysium really has a natural smelling effect although it has a very common very popular scent dna but i mean the the blend the creation i mean it's really good and that's why i do love it um but still 225 euros or 240 euros i mean it's just too much for what these fragrances are nonetheless uh if you are curious to try them just go ahead and do so they are still good fragrances to at least they are worth your time in my opinion so this is Elysium by Khojadov. Next fragrance is from the house of Maison Francis Courtin and it is Oud Satin Mood. Another fragrance that I absolutely love and oh wow, it's so intoxicating. Mm. Rose, Oud and Vanilla. Done to perfection. But, 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 this is so sweet. <laughs> And the wood here, it's not that intense and not that detectable as, for example, the rose with the vanilla is. The rose here is in the back and it's very tamed. I mean, it's barely noticeable. And so because of that, I feel that this is a bit overpriced. I think the wood should have been more intense and more present uh, than actually is in this fragrance. Uh, and this doesn't have I mean, this doesn't have the most natural smelling effect, let's say. The sweetness here, it's almost is borderline candied. So that's why for me, this is a bit overpriced because this is over 200 euros and this is a 75 ml bottle. So that's why for me, this is a bit overpriced. I still love it. I think this is still very sexy and very seductive. And I mean, you will be noticed this in terms of performance. I mean, it's nuclear, um, but still in terms of the scent DNA, in terms of the scent character, I feel that this is a bit, just a bit overpriced. Nonetheless, I love it. I will always cherish this fragrance in my collection. Um, and it's from Maison Francis Courchamp. It's Wood Satin Wood. Next fragrance, this might be a bit of a shock for some of you because I absolutely love this fragrance. This is my favorite barbershop scent, but I mean, it's MDCE, Parfum Invasion Bac Bac. And I mean, just the dent is ridiculous. I have over 300 fragrances and look at the dent of this one. This is the only fragrance that I have from MDC, at least so far. I plan to add Chypre Palatin also. Um, but this one, this is a barbershop scent. I mean, yes, this is intense. It's spicy. You have the lavender, the cardamom. It's vanillic. Um, it's so good, man. It's so good. So smooth and just so addicting. For a barbershop scent, I mean, this is fantastic. But I mean, this is 225 euros for a 75 ml. Uh, for a barbershop scent, okay. This has more things going on, like the spices, like the vanilla, uh, muskiness, but still, but still, I mean, it's still a barbershop scent in its essence, so over 200 euros for just a 75 ml uh, it's a bit steep it's a bit steep uh high quality scent in my opinion i mean again this is my favorite barbershop fragrance but is a bit steep even cheap palatin i feel like it's a bit steep the overall overall this brand is a bit is a bit the price is is a bit steep but nonetheless i really do like uh invasion barbar i also like uh cheap palatin Pesh, I think it's Pesh Cardinal. It's also fantastic. A bit more feminine though, but still it's fantastic. Um, so that's why I, overall I do like MDC. I think it has a classic um, nature into their fragrances, it has a classic aesthetic to their fragrances, um, but it's a bit steep nonetheless. Because it's just 75. If this would be like 100 ml, okay. It, it will be in the limit, 
but it would pass just a 75 it's a bit steep but nonetheless i mean it's great you can still find some great discounts this is not available this brand you will not find in the online discounters but uh, in some official websites like um sends unique i think sends unique carries mdc there's all also uh, german websites who sells uh, fragrances and sometimes they will give you coupons uh, i already saw like 20 percent coupon um which was great so i mean just grab the opportunity if you can um to buy these fragrances at a uh, discount with a discount code so uh i would advise you to do so other than that yeah it's a bit steep i still love it i will always have this fragrance in my collection so i will not mind to pay uh, full retail of this one because how much I love this But I still recognize that oh, I'm just buying this because I really do love it at full retail <laughs> So yeah, this is MDC Invasion blah, blah. And last but definitely not least this is another scent that I absolutely love It's from the house of Serjov and it's a very well-known very well praised fragrance from this brand It is Alexandria 2 now, I love this. This is so, so, so intense. <laughs> it's so good. Wow. I just want to smell this over and over. This has rose, cardamom, lavender, wood, and creates this most sexy, woody scent, which and why this is overpriced for me because it doesn't come across as natural this entire fragrance dna it's not natural uh doesn't come across as real wood you know it has something in here because i mean immediately you get the cardamom with the lavender and wood but uh, there's something in here that it's not natural you know and it's present in the entire scent in it. Maybe the, the ingredients in here are not as high quality, um, but I still love the, the scent in it nonetheless. So the, the main reason is really the natural feel that this scent doesn't have. Um, that's why for me this is a bit overpriced. This is a 50 ml. I really do like such of bottle presentations. This is from the Wood Stars collection, Alexandria 2, and it's 295 euros for a 50 ml. If you want the 100 ml, I mean, it will be over almost 400 euros. Huh. It's a bit, it's a bit steep because you can get, for example, for this price tag, I would get, I would advise you to get um, Soul of Wood by Ramon Monegal or any of the Don't Touch My Wood collection because those, those smell natural, real wood in there. And it's 50 ml also, Eau de Parfum concentration. Uh, the price is a bit more expensive. It's in the 300 euros mark. Uh, but still, I mean, if you are willing to pay 200, almost 300 euros for this one, I mean, then just go with the Ramon Monegal Don't Touch My Wood collection you will be better served real wood in there and it that fragrance line it's just to die for if you love wood and i highly advise you to check that fragrance brand out if you want a surge of fragrance um in the don't in the wood collection go with alcat uh, it comes across more natural and you can smell more wood than in here nonetheless this is a stunning scent I, that being said, all of that being said, I still love this. Um, this is intense. This lasts the entire day. Uh, this has um, a likability, like um, mass appealing touch, because lavender, cardamom, um, a bit vanillic. But, oh, man, I absolutely love this. I love the overall scent DNA. Yeah, it doesn't come across very natural smelling, but. Man. It's so intoxicating and it's unique honestly this is unique I never smelled anything like this mm. really really good man Alexandria 2 uh, if you don't know this fragrance yet just put your nose on this one 
uh, not to buy it, but at least just to know this fragrance. I think it's one of those that I really advise you to, to experience. It's that type of scent for people who are just starting to discover oud uh, as a note. So I think this is a great starter. For that, because of that, it is a bit steep, but well, it's amazing, I still love this. This is Alexandria 2 from Sergio finishing this video, guys. And I think it's already too long. <laughs> guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments down below what fragrances you love, but you can recognize that they are a bit overpriced for what they are. I would love to hear um, the fragrances that you want to mention. Uh, and once again, thank you so much for your ongoing support and see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Ciao.